Da da da, da da da, and we're back on Box Twenty Nine News, revealing news report. We can box right on Twenty Nine. Just my beat of right out of it. I just want to your boy Chair Mackins in the back, Packins in the fat, Gaddings in the couple, Rackins and all that ain't. First of all, come on, y'all. Like, I was grabbing me. Mean ass niggas. Shout out to all the mean niggas that keep coming past watching the videos. Never like, comment, and subscribe and like. It costs money. Yeah, you can buy a shirt. This is not my shirt. Shout out to my homie. My homie, remember my homie from last time? Who don't got no website, don't got no goddamn Instagram page. He just got shirts. Nigga, where the stuff at? However, I do truly appreciate everybody that do come like, comment, and or subscribe that's pushing for me to get a Plackington. Send the bags in my access chair. Mackington. Just trying to get a Plackington. You feel me? You niggas don't feel me. However, breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking fucking news. Are we at? The Western Conference Steppers! Listen, I love when pages like Philly Street Keeper do stuff like this. So he can just make it easy for me, nigga. I don't be feeling like putting the pieces of the puzzle together. So they did their job and they um, lined it up for us. They let us know who is the top ranked killers, gorillas, drug dealers. Steppers, stompers, movers, pushers of the 70, fixers, torturers, camperers, senders from the Western Conference. I don't know if that's West Philly. It might be. I would assume it is. However, for my dyslexia, it says Western Conference standings 2024. Like they won in a championship or something. Y'all niggas win prison sentences. You feel me? However... The number one C is the non-side Timberwolves. Number two is the YFA Rockets. Number three is the Spankers. Number four is the 56th Street Cinders. Number five is the YBC Dragons. Number six is the 56th Street Celtics. Number seven says the 4C State Sharks. Number eight says the 616 Magics. Number nine says the Pit Pitbulls. Number 10, the O to the 4, CCK Celtics. Number 11, the Mont, Mont, what? The Mont Mantis. Oh, the hell that is. Number 12, the MBK Bloodhounds. And number 13, the D4M Do Nothings. Oh, my God. I, I, I'm okay with D4M not doing nothing. They actually got a successful rapper. And a couple successful rappers. All the other rappers in the other sets probably locked up or about to get locked the fuck up or dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would rather deep for him not do nothing and keep making hits. However, this is the stupid, dumb, retarded, maniacal, diabolical shit that these kids think is cool. These niggas think it's thorough to uh, rank who going to jail the quickest. Or who going to jail the longest? Or who getting slapped the f <laughs> sleep right out of the furthest? I don't know how smart that is. However, thank y'all for uh, lining it up for us. If you are a civilian, I would advise you to please keep your ass away from all these niggas. The nine side wolves down to the goddamn D4M do nothing. They do something. Them niggas make hits. You feel me? That's something. That's a little better than killing a nigga throwing your life away. I'm not the smartest nigga in the world. I ain't been to Harvard, Yale, Princeton, none of them institutions. I'm just saying. They make successful rappers. At least one hit wonders. You feel me? So that's something. All they rappers not locked up or dead. So that's a win. They got one dead rapper. Okay, whatever. So, thank y'all. And... We will absolutely positively keep tabs on all you niggas. You feel me? Because we got to make sure all y'all 
from goddamn the nine side Timberwolves all the goddamn to the MBK Browns. We got to grip all y'all up. Sit y'all in front of Uncle Lola. Come here, Uncle Lola. How you doing? Your hand gonna hurt. Slap the f Confident. Right out of these right? stupid ass. Come boot ass. If you do some for camper forest, rob you, I'll be a chest of my boy, Frank Bill Green, Somerset Pine Group. What are them recreational sinners getting the goss? And let us know. Did y'all do anything successful yet? Just silly ass. In other news, are we at? Mr. Meek Millay! <laughs> if you do not know who Mr. Meek Mill is, go to hell. There's no way you're from Philadelphia or even in the tri-state area or even in the goddamn United States and you're black. Don't know who Meek Mill is. However, part of my dyslexia says Meek Mill revealed that he purchased a farm the other day. I had to bring Mr. Meek Mills up because it says, in other news, where we at? I brought a form the other day. Oh, what you get? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Meek. Now, I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be speculating and assuming and making an ass out of me and you, sir. However, when you start saying in other news, do you watch the show? If you watch the show, I truly appreciate it. Nigga, give me the chain, nigga. I would have changed right on the show. Like, yeah, nigga, you know what's up? I'm signed to the rock. You, know, you feel me? Nigga ain't seen. Give me a chain, you talking about in other news. Nigga, I appreciate you for tuning in, though, nigga. Nigga, nigga, call me. Nigga, I'm trying to get signed or something. I don't know, though, because they said the Diddy shit. You know the Diddy shit was crazy. I ain't going to go too bad, but that shit was crazy. You feel me? However, I am proud of you buying a farm, nigga. At least let me grow some goddamn vegetables or something yeah nigga let me let me start something a little produce aisle, a little, little vegetable section or something let me get some nigga it's like now i don't know if he watched the show however it would be a good thing if he do says a coinky thing i don't believe in coinky things so thank you mr meek mill for uh tuning in hope you see this episode i do got a shout out my man johnny mack for sending me this first he sent me this from news before anybody even posted it, he sent me this on like 9 o'clock in the morning. So in other news, I'm like, yeah. So I do appreciate if you do tune in. I don't even know if you tune in, nigga. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, niggas. And don't tell me who tune in. So in other news, thank you, nigga. What's wrong? In other news, oh, we at a senseless shooting. If you don't know what a senseless shooting is, it's actually absolutely positively 100%, about 99.9% .9 of all the shootings in Philadelphia. It don't be about nothing, don't be for nothing, don't be worth nothing, don't be over nothing. However, today we have a 13-year-old victim. Mm-mm-mm. my -mm -mm. dyslexia says 13-year-old girl fatally shot in North Philadelphia. However, I'm going to send it over to my sister company. Take it away, please. Continue. But first, breaking right now, a 13-year-old girl is dead after she was shot in the chest. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jason Martinez. I'm Sheba Russell. Police say the victim was discovered just after 7.30 tonight inside a bedroom. Our Steve Keeley is live at police headquarters with the latest. Steve, what have you learned? Well, detective sources say this eighth grader lives across the street and was visiting two teenage boys who live in that house where the shooting happened. An adult... What the fuck she visiting little boys for in the eighth grade? This is the sh that I've been trying to understand. Y'all just be letting your kids do any and everything. My daughter in the 10th grade, she better the not think she's going to go visit the guy and beat the f Right out of her stupid ass, you feel me? What the... What y'all doing? What y'all trying to do? I had a baby at 17. I started in like, yeah, you feel me? What y'all trying to do? Fuck one of y'all up. I'll ever end to you. An adult female relative of those boys is here now at Philadelphia Police Headquarters in the Homicide District. 
talking to homicide detectives right now. Here is the scene. It's in the 2800 block of North Bailey Street, where police said they got several 911 calls to get over there for reports of a shooting. They get in there, they get up to the second floor hallway and find this little girl shot once in the chest. Nobody's saying anything about who did it or why, whether it was an accident or whether it was intentional. Oh, lock everybody the f up. No, no, see, this the problem. Y'all be buying them kids them Orby guns, and then they be pointing them guns at my and they think, oh, this is just so funny. <laughs> and then they play with a real gun, and it's not the same thing. It's not a game. It's not a joke. It's not a grand theft auto. You don't respond. You feel me? That's the problem. It start with the parents. I don't play that Orby gun shit. You feel me? I find an Orby gun, a real gun. I told you, I'm calling the police on my kids. They going to prison. Authentic way, too. Anthony. We're getting information that there were several teenage boys who live at this location that after hearing the gunshot, at least two of those teenage boys were seen fleeing from this location. Fortunately, we did find some private surveillance cameras along the block. So hopefully those cameras recorded someone entering and or exiting this property before or after the shooting. The 911 calls came in at 737. She was picked up by Philadelphia police, rushed to Temple Hospital, but pronounced dead less than a half hour later at 8.02 p.m. What's going on right now, Jason and Sheba, is that homicide detectives are also at the scene. They're now waiting for a judge to sign off on a search warrant where they'll be able to go through the house and look for a weapon and hopefully get somebody to cooperate, too. A search warrant? I thought you needed a search warrant when, like, you had suspicion. Somebody's dead. That's beyond reasonable doubt. Search the crib for the pistol. Lock the whole crib up. Find the young boys that was running down the street. Come on, you got to sit up from Uncle Lola. I don't know where you thought you was going, nigga. However, hold on. Ends in you. After things calmed down a little bit there so they can figure out who shot her, and was it an accident? Was it a game somebody was playing? Or was it some reason intentional? But nobody can think that anybody would intentionally shoot and kill a 13-year-old girl in their own home in a hallway at 737. And tomorrow, obviously, we'll leave uh, the name of the public. I think, uh, I know I talk too much, y'all. I truly apologize. I think somebody who would shoot a 13-year-old girl intentionally is a stupid-ass 13-year-old, 14-year-old boy. You feel me? They do stupid sh Somehow, I don't think, I don't know. Like, it ain't no reason for y'all to be playing with no pistols. Ain't no reason this little girl should be dead. Ain't no, no valid reason, no good enough reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope, I pray, I wish everybody get charged. I'm going to give you 12. Yeah, if you was playing with that pistol, I hope you get charged. You feel me? Anthony school out right now but you can bet tomorrow morning at that school you'll have uh the counselors and the usual seeing there which is repeated too often here in the city of philadelphia for another young person shot and killed because of gunplay it's a tragedy in philadelphia i hate his mother grinch looking ass however thank you steve um i don't really know what to say rest in peace baby girl that's number one i'm sorry you had to go through that I don't know why you was going to them boys' house anyway. I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying, look what boys do. Stupid shit. That's what, that's what we known to do. Notoriously stupid shit. They said, boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. I forgot what girls go to Mars for. I really did. However, rest in peace, baby girl. When we catch the whole house, you got y'all set the uh, relative there? Okay, sit her down. Okay, get them other two ran, sit them down. Who else was in the house? Was anybody else in the house? Sit them down. Uncle Lola, please, come here. You slapping a lot of people today. Come here, how you doing? Slap the oh. Right out of these stupid ass. You know, boot ass, if these little camp up for us, rob you, I'll be on Chester Mountain with Franklin Green, some of that Pine Grove, Muncie's, Cayman Springs. What are the recreational center getting the goats? Let us know. Who was playing with the pistol?
Your stupid ass. Fuck is wrong. However, today's episode is sponsored by Slut, 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 by Slut, Slut, Slut. Also known as Laid by Lay, the lot God, the licensed cosmetologist, and certified lab tech who specializes in natural hair care needs, wants, and desires. Listen, right now, that is a Slay by Slay style. It is a little old. It do need a little fine tuning. You feel me? However, when I'm slay by slay, I look like goddamn that goddamn. You feel me? So if you want two strand, three strand, four strand, up do, down do, round do, crown do, one of them styles, whatever you need, want, and desire, you want to be styled and smile on a profile, please click the link in the bio. It's right there in the bio. You feel me? It's one. You know the news? And we at Murder Me! If you do not know what a murder meal is, it's actually, absolutely, positively, 100% what you will be eating if you decide to throw your life away, if you decide to sign up to be an active driller, step a stumble, move a push or a 70, fix her, torture her, camper her, send her, whatever section of the city you want to earn from, if that's what you want to do, I promise you, this is actually a good trait. A little husky, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you was on the state road, the F, pick, one of them situation ships, nigga, that trait is big as an eighth, my nigga. I said, on this big, all your food is in there. And the cookies is on top. And, and they give you a Bernard. And the Bernard might mess you up. You feel me? However, that bread, now, that bread is all right. If you want to throw your life away, the bread is all right. You feel me? You can be like, yo, you eating that bread? You have a lot of bread if you ain't got no commissary. Yeah, if you ain't got no commissary, you be trading trays for cookies and all types. Look at what your life is going to come to, though. You feel me? You're going to be seasoning the eye where they took the peas and the corn, put it inside the chicken dollar king, put a seasoning pack in that joint, knock that joint off. You feel? I'm not complaining if I ain't got no commissary. I'm knocking this joint off. You ain't going you ain't gonna get that from me. However, if that's what you want, it was trash. If that's what you want, please continue to do what you got to do. Put in all the work. All the stepping, all the stomping, all the moving, all the pushing, all the 70 fixing, whatever you need to do to get you one of these trades. Go see your friends, your loved ones that you ain't seen in years. Please get introduced to Uncle Larlar. Please get slapped the f right out of and get booted ass. If things will slip, they'll kick, they'll rock you. I'll be on chest of mine, no track, no green, sunset, pongo. What are them right races? You can call us. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to get start off with these, though. In the F these, not even F. This is Delaware County ish. Probably Montgomery County is, Bucks County is. So if you want a good trade, you might want to go do a crime out there. You feel me? You want a little small CFCF trade? Oh, I swear to God, CFCF trade like this small. You can't even see this, John. Dang, that's crazy. This small, the whole trade. Mm mm mm. And you got to survive, nigga. And it costs seventy-five to a hundred thousand for a murder. And you still might get slapped, uh -oh. You still might get slapped. So it just costs that. And it's going you have to eat some of these trades. So take a good look. However, oh, I forgot about the caption. The caption says, for my dyslexia, if you start to feel ungrateful, just remember this. This is all I got to remember. I promise this will keep me going. I'm like, man, ain't none of this is in jail. People be complaining in life. I'm like, none of this is in jail, though. I've been to prison. Literally, none of this, none of this is accessible this quickly, though. Like, ah, I want a bottle of water. Bam. Ah, I want to pick up the remote. And that's not that accessible. You feel me? However, if you want to go visit your friends and look like a real nigga, please go out your way to do some dumb shit. Because they got space, nigga. They ain't turning no niggas away. They ain't never say, ah, damn it. We full today. No, nah, nigga, come on down. So. Look at your food, y'all, and make some wise decisions. In other news, when we at BSPN, da na na, da na na. They gonna be like, do you got anything original? 
No, I don't. I I remix my whole damn show. You feel? And today in BSB and we at the Philadelphia 76ers. Listen, they almost got us in Jersey, y'all. They were trying to throw us a real good fishing line. I'm like, oh, all that bill do look nice. I'll have a part of my dyslexia says City of Philadelphia 76ers reach an agreement on arena and center city. Mayor Parker says, well, they was going to do whatever they want to do regardless. Center City, they niggas was having protests. We don't want it here. They don't give a fuck. Donald Trump don't want your ass here. You understand that part? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? However, I'm going to sit over to my sister company. Take it away, please. And to you. Breaking at five, the Sixers will move closer to Center City, assuming City Council agrees with Mayor Sherelle Parker. A big announcement here in this video that was dropped this afternoon, and in it she says the city and the team have reached an agreement. Very busy five o'clock newscast coming your way. I'm Jason Martinez. And I'm Dawn Timoney. It's been a controversial topic for those who oppose the Sixers arena, but the mayor is hopeful. Philadelphia, I am proud. This is an his Yo, Miss Brown, I ain't gonna lie. You look like a regular auntie that everybody got. I swear to God, you look like Cheryl Brown. Hey, I Cheryl, you look like her, like authentically. Continue. Historic agreement. It is the best financial deal ever entered into by Philadelphia mayor for a local sports arena. And I wholeheartedly believe it is the right deal for the people of Philadelphia. So, Jeff, a decision of sorts. So break it all. Bitch, we don't care about that shit. We care about PPA parking tickets. Yeah, yeah, we don't give a f where the Sixers play. That's like I said yesterday. They could play in my backyard, miss. That's not the concern. We care about PPA parking tickets. Like, why the street so messed up? And y'all giving out parking tickets. Where you want me to park? In my crib? Tomorrow it's for the Philadelphia people, the people of Philadelphia. We don't care about that shit. We trying to clean the streets up. Layer the streets up. Y'all keep putting them big ass humps all over the place. Nigga, take some of that tar and spread it across the whole goddamn street. We can have a better street. You feel me? Anything. All down for us. Well, listen, uh, this was meeting was called first at 6.30 last night, then it was changed, and then there was a 2 p.m. meeting this afternoon. It was the opponents to Chinatown were taught, well, in Chinatown were called and told there'd be a meeting at 6. Take all them niggas, the ops, the opponents, the Chinas, I mean, Chinatown, the, you, yo, China, y'all really the ops. Donald Trump wasn't lying. Easy. City Hall at 2 o'clock this afternoon. They believe they would likely hear that Mayor Parker would support the building of an arena by the 76ers in the Market East neighborhood on the edge of Chinatown. And that is exactly what she released this afternoon in the video that our viewers just saw. Let's take a look at some pictures and I'll tell you what happened early this afternoon in City Hall in the city of Philadelphia. The announcement came from Mayor Parker via video. Video. After members of the Chinatown community, business and community leaders were called to a 2 p.m. meeting in City Hall right near the mayor's office. Inside, the mayor told them that she would in fact support the building of an arena in that Market East neighborhood on the edge of Ch Chinatown. Man, f all that. We don't give a f if Chinatown got a problem. We don't even got a fucking nigger town. Where niggas is thriving with their own supermarket, their only own bank system, own school system. We don't got none of that. Y'all got a Chinatown in every goddamn city. No, no, no. We don't give a fucking Philly. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Put that building right on top of Chinatown. Come on, you destroying thousands of jobs. Bitch, we put that shit on the goddamn the gallery. Nobody use the gallery no more. It's the most y'all better y'all better be happy that shit coming. I'm gonna get way more business talking about, talking about losing thousands of jobs. Y'all shouldn't have one job. I went to McDonald's the other day. The girl didn't speak no English. I'm like, how do you have a job in America? And I wasn't even trying to be a hater. I'm like, how do you have a job in America? Like, it's no way you can't even speak English a little bit. Because if I couldn't speak Chinese, 
I know I'm not getting no motherfucking job in China. If I don't, don't speak no Spanish, I'm not getting no motherfucking job in Mexico or goddamn Puerto Rico or wherever the f they speak Spanish. I'm not getting no job. So I'm trying to figure out how did y'all get a job? How did you get a job? They be firing me, and I speak fluent English. That's all I speak. However, I do appreciate the Sixers for keeping it in the city. We'll see how it go. We don't really even care. Like if we we going to go check out the new arena. We definitely got to go see that. However, other than that, kids, please do not make it to the show. Make it to the show your problem. A stupid dumb retarded motherfucker. Do not move. Push your probably not gonna make life. Probably no dream, no goals, no aspirations. Probably gonna be throwing away your life for one of them trades. Cause this is the type show these people make. So it's not show sure makes it actually the worst in the world. It's Box Twenty Nine News, where if you like news reporting, we can box right on Twenty Nine Street. My beat the fuck right out of here. Fuck is wrong with you? Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me.